Have you ever abandoned a book after a dull first chapter? We've all been there. Just like a captivating opening line draws you into a story, a strong introduction sets the tone for an entire piece of writing. It's the handshake that welcomes your reader, the first impression that can make or break your content. A weak introduction can leave readers feeling lost, confused or simply disinterested. On the other hand, a well-crafted opener acts like a lighthouse, guiding your audience through the fog and highlighting the treasures that lie ahead. It establishes your voice, piques curiosity and promises a journey worth taking. But what makes a good introduction really? And how can we make sure each section we write starts with a bang? Let's dive into the nitty-gritty of crafting introductions that hook your readers and keep them coming back for more. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Think of each section in your writing as its own mini-story, complete with a beginning, middle and end. This approach not only helps in organizing your thoughts but also keeps your readers engaged throughout the piece. Just like with a short story, you wouldn't launch into the climax without setting the scene first, right? Setting the scene is crucial because it provides the necessary background and context that your readers need to fully grasp the upcoming content. Each section introduction serves as a mini-opener, reeling your reader in and preparing them for what's to come. It's like opening a door to a new room, giving a glimpse of what lies ahead while maintaining an element of surprise. It should provide context, hint at the main points to be covered and create a smooth transition from the previous section. This ensures that your readers are not abruptly jolted from one topic to another, but rather guided seamlessly through your narrative. One effective way to do this is by posing a question related to the topic at hand. Questions naturally pique curiosity and encourage readers to think about the subject matter more deeply. For example, if you're writing about the benefits of meditation, you might start a section about stress reduction with, ever feel like your mind is a runaway train, thoughts racing at a million miles an hour? This question immediately resonates with anyone who has experienced stress, making them more likely to continue reading. By asking a relatable question, you immediately engage the reader's mind and invite them to connect with your words on a personal level. This connection is vital for maintaining their interest and ensuring they absorb the information you're presenting. But don't leave them hanging. Provide a concise answer or a brief explanation before moving on to the next section. This not only satisfies their curiosity, but also reinforces the point you're trying to make. What are some other ways you can think of to create smooth transitions between sections? Perhaps you could use a relevant quote, an interesting fact, or a short anecdote to bridge the gap between topics. Share your ideas in the comments. Engaging with your readers and encouraging them to share their thoughts can provide new insights and make your writing even more dynamic. Remember, the goal is to make each section introduction as compelling as possible. By doing so, you not only enhance the readability of your work, but also create a more enjoyable experience for your readers. So next time you sit down to write, think of each section as a new opportunity to captivate your audience. With a little creativity and thoughtful planning, you can craft introductions that are not only informative, but also truly engaging. Happy writing! Questions are powerful tools in writing. They pique curiosity, spark debate, and encourage active reading rather than passive consumption. When used strategically throughout your content, questions can transform your writing from a monologue into a dynamic conversation with your audience. But not all questions are created equal. To truly engage your readers, your questions should be relevant, directly related to the topic at hand, and flow naturally from the surrounding text. Thought-provoking, encourage readers to pause, reflect, and form their own opinions. Open-ended, allow for multiple perspectives and interpretations. For instance, instead of asking, is social media good or bad, which elicits a simple yes or no answer, try something like, how has social media impacted our relationships and sense of community? Once you've posed your question, take the time to address it thoughtfully and thoroughly. Remember the goal is to create a dialogue, not just pepper your writing with random inquiries. What are some of your favorite questions to ask in your writing? Share them in the comments and let's get a discussion going. Section 4. Beyond the page calls to action and surveys. Think about the last time you felt truly connected to a piece of writing. 
Was it an article, a blog post, or perhaps a story that resonated deeply with you? Did it leave you with a sense of wonder, a desire to learn more, or perhaps a burning question you couldn't wait to explore? Maybe it even inspired you to take some action or share your thoughts with others. Engaging content goes beyond simply conveying information. It sparks a flame in the reader's mind, encouraging them to interact, contribute, and become active participants in the conversation. It transforms passive reading into an active dialogue. This is where calls to action and surveys come into play. They serve as bridges between the writer and the reader, creating a two-way street of communication. Don't be afraid to break the fourth wall and directly address your audience. Speak to them as if they are right there with you, because in a way they are. Invite them to share their thoughts and experiences in the comments section. Ask open-ended questions that encourage them to reflect and respond. Encourage them to answer a poll or survey related to the topic. These tools not only gather valuable feedback, but also make readers feel valued and heard. Invite them to join a discussion forum or online community where they can engage with like-minded individuals. This fosters a sense of belonging and deeper engagement with the content. Provide links to additional resources for further exploration. This not only enriches their understanding, but also keeps them coming back for more. By providing clear and enticing opportunities for interaction, you transform your writing from a one-sided lecture into a vibrant exchange of ideas. It becomes a living, breathing conversation that evolves with each reader's input. Speaking of interaction, what are your thoughts on using surveys in writing? Surveys can be a powerful tool to gauge reader interest and gather insights. Do you find them engaging or intrusive? Your feedback is crucial in shaping the way we create content that resonates with you. Let us know in the comments. Your voice matters and we are eager to hear your thoughts and experiences. Together, we can create a more interactive and engaging reading experience for everyone. Section 5. The Final Bow. Concluding with purpose, just as a memorable last line can linger in your mind long after you've finished a book, a strong conclusion leaves a lasting impression on your reader. It's the final note in your symphony of words, the closing act in your narrative play. This is your moment to shine, to ensure that your message resonates deeply and meaningfully. It's your final opportunity to tie up loose ends, reiterate your key points, and leave your audience with a sense of closure. Think of it as the final brushstroke on a painting, the last chord in a song. This is where you bring everything together, creating a cohesive and satisfying end to your work. But a powerful conclusion goes beyond simply summarizing what's already been said. It's not just a recap, it's a chance to elevate your message, to add a final layer of depth and insight. This is where you can reinforce the significance of your points and leave your audience with something to ponder. It should also spark further reflection and encourage continued engagement with the topic. A great conclusion invites your readers to think more deeply, to question, and to explore further. It's an invitation to continue the journey even after the last page is turned. One effective way to achieve this is by ending with a thought-provoking question that lingers in the reader's mind. Questions are powerful tools. They open doors to new ideas and perspectives. They can challenge your readers to think critically and to engage with your content on a deeper level. This question could relate to the broader implications of your topic, invite readers to apply your advice to their own lives, or simply encourage them to share their own perspectives. It's a way to make your conclusion interactive, to turn a monologue into a dialogue. For example, if you're writing about the importance of self-care, you might end with, what small act of kindness can you show yourself today? This not only reinforces your message, but also encourages your readers to take immediate action, making your advice practical and relevant. Ultimately, the goal is to leave your readers feeling empowered, inspired, and eager to continue the conversation long after they've finished reading. You want them to walk away with a sense of fulfillment and a desire to explore the topic further. Your conclusion should be a springboard for their own thoughts and ideas, and with that, I leave you with one final question. What resonated with you most from this essay, and how can you apply these tips to your own writing? This question is designed to make you reflect on what you've learned and to think about how you can implement these strategies in your own work. Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
Your insights and experiences are valuable, and by sharing them, you contribute to a richer, more dynamic conversation. Let's keep the dialogue going and continue to learn from each other.